Hello again. We in Europe and the United States are often blamed for all the ills which have afflicted Africa and the Caribbean. If only the colonies which we established in those areas could have been left to their own devices or granted their independence earlier, how very different things would have been for the citizens living there. Let us look at the colony of St. Domingo, which was, until it wrested its independence from France in 1804, the world's leading producer of coffee and sugar, and also a global leader in cotton and indigo. That's right, no other place on earth was producing more sugar and coffee than the western half of the island of Hispaniola in the late 18th century. Santa Dominica, Dominga, rather, was a byword for prosperity, blessed with a perfect climate and fertile land. Then the white Europeans withdrew and left the colony in the hands of the black population. That was well over 200 years ago. How is San Domingo doing these days? Well, it is the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere. Three quarters of the population live on the equivalent of less than $2 a day. Only a quarter of the country has access to electricity, and even then there are frequent power cuts and the electricity is only on for a maximum of 12 hours a day. A third of the population is illiterate, the country is essentially a basket case, reliant both on foreign aid and also money sent back home by Haitians who have managed to leave and now live in other countries. The wonderful climate and fertile land which made it the world's largest producer of coffee and sugar don't seem to be benefiting the people these days. Indeed, whenever left-wingers in the West wish to explain why Haiti is so poverty-stricken, they invariably attribute this to the climate and natural conditions. Just to be clear, the climate and natural conditions 230 years ago made it ideal for growing vast quantities of coffee, sugar and cotton. But those same conditions now make the nation reliant on charity from Europe and America. What has changed in those 220 years? Hmm... I think I can see the difference between then and now. Worse still, slavery has now returned to the place and it's endemic both in Haiti itself and the neighbouring Republic of Dominica. Here is a quotation from a young man from Haiti forced through poverty to go and work on a plantation in Dominica. This was in 2017. We are like slaves in freedom. We work, but we do not earn any money. We work for nothing. We cannot even buy shoes, a shirt, a pair of pants. We are like slaves in freedom because we are free to leave the job. We know that there are other places to go and work. We can leave, so we are free. But when one does this job, he is like a slave, a prisoner, because without money he can't go wherever he wants. He has to stay and pay debts at the shop and then the job has to be finished. Once the cane cutters, this man's working on a sugar plantation, of course, once the cane cutters go and work on the plantation, they are trapped there, because everything has to be bought from a shop on the plantation. They build up debts in this way, uh, some of which they are never free of. Then there is the child slavery in Haiti itself. When a poor family can't feed all their children, they resort to selling some of them to families who do have a bit of money so that their child can act as a servant in exchange for being given food and lodgings. These children, known as Restavex, sometimes live in shocking conditions. There are estimated to be between 100,000 and half a million such child servants or slaves in Haiti today. I'm curious to know what would have happened if the other colonies of the Caribbean, places like Jamaica, Barbados and so on, had been granting, granted independence at the same time as Haiti. Would they now be in a better case? How do such colonies differ from those like Hong Kong and Singapore? Is there a reason why some former colonies are more successful than others? 
Can one really imagine Singapore, say, with very limited electricity and a third of the people illiterate? I do not know the answers to these questions, but they are interesting. As usual, in the description to this video, I give links uh, to various sources which back up what I've been saying.